Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Mimi and today I want to talk about everything that I crocheted in the month of October as well as my future projects and just some yarn that I got. So I didn't get too much done in October but the main thing that I got done which I really love is my Mia Long cardigan. Oh, it's just so cute. It's got the zipper down the front. Um, it's got a nice little collar. It's all ribbed, and I made a video about this, uh, documenting my process. But yeah, I really enjoyed making this. I'm so happy it's finished. Um, it looks great. It doesn't look exactly like hers, but I think it's close enough. Like the red is a little bit off, as well as like the front detail. Like hers is a bit more of a V shape, and mine is more like a wider V shape, I guess you could say. But anyway, yes, I love making this. Um, it's back loop, only single crochets and half double crochets to make this. Um, yeah, I think I would definitely try and do it again in the future. And I had so much yarn left over. Hold on just a second. Look at all of the yarn that I had left over. And my cat got to this one. I don't know what he was trying to do, but he definitely got to it. I have one, okay, let's see where he tore the bag open. One, two, three. I have three balls of the mohair and three balls of the wool left, so I don't know what I'm gonna do with that. I was thinking about maybe, yeah, I don't know what I'm gonna do with that. I was thinking about ordering some white mohair and white um, wool from we are not we are knitters um knit picks and hobby i was thinking about ordering some white and trying to do like a fair isle type of sweater i think that'd be really cute um yeah i've never done fair isle before i've never really done any color work but i understand the concept of it and i don't think it would be too difficult to achieve um yeah Oh, you know what I want to make so bad? I want to make the Dreamscape sweater by Expression Fiber Arts. I want to make that so bad. I've already picked out the yarn that I'm going to buy. I'm going to buy it from Knit Picks. Um, it's like their... I don't even know what it's called, but I want to make that so bad, the Dreamscape sweater. It looks so beautiful. Um, anyway, yeah. Um, on to my second finished object. I finished my pumpkin spice socks and yes I made one of them huge by accident it's huge my foot isn't actually this big so it's like this much too long for my foot yeah like this much too long for my foot but um yeah I think I'm I don't know because like I love I love crocheting socks it's such a fun process but at the same time, they don't really fit how I want them to, and they're not very stretchy. And I think I want to try knit socks. So I've been watching all of these videos about how to knit socks. And I understand the concept. I think I'm going to do heel flap and gusset. So I went to uh, my local yarn shop and I bought... I bought knitting needles guys. I bought this pair of 2.5 circular needles and I've been practicing because I haven't knit in so long. I've been practicing. I haven't knit probably since I was a little girl but um yeah so I bought these 2.5. I've been practicing. I made this little swatch. I'm not sure if you can see that. It's like stockinette and then there's like Carter and rib but I've been practicing a lot I'm trying to do continental because coming from a crocheter's perspective it's the most comfortable for me holding my yarn in my left hand um, I can continental fine with knitting but when it comes to purling like seriously oh my god it's so difficult I think I'm finally starting to get the hang of it but it is very difficult. I was thinking like, oh, maybe I can only continental knit and then I'm a thrower when I have to purl. Um, but I really don't want to have to do that, like switch up styles every time I have to purl because then it's just a hassle. 
But anyway, yeah, so I made this little swatch. This is some cotton yarn I had left over. It's cotton acrylic blend. I had left over from um, a different project that I did. So this is about how much I had. Um, I have, so I have this yarn actually in a couple of different colors. I have it in like red and I have it in like a peach color. And I want to use this much and then the rest of them. Here, hold on. This is the peach color. I have quite a bit of the peach. I want to make some type of top with this, with these all together. I have no idea where the red is though, guys. Like, I completely lost it. I don't know how I'd lose a whole... Yeah, I lost a whole project. I don't know where I put it. It was... I was working on, like, a summery type boho style cardigan. Um, like, really long, like a duster almost. And I completely lost it. I had been working on the sleeves and I had like a lace work type for like a half sleeve. And I put it somewhere and I have not found it since. It's probably in the bottom of my yarn stash and it's just such a mess. I don't even feel like going through it. Um, I think I'm going to go to Michael's tomorrow though and buy another Roland and cart because I have one that I keep all of my yarn on. But... Um, for the rest of my yarn it's just in this big bin on the floor of my room and it's just such a hassle to to look at especially it's just an eyesore so I think I want to go through that and get another cart and organize my yarn so I might make a video about it organizing my yarn stash um, it sounds like a big task to me <laughs> to do I'm not even gonna lie it sounds like such a hassle to organize it all because I want to organize it by weight like oh I have all my fingering weight and then my DK weight and then my like sport and worsted weight I want to have them all I thought about organizing by fiber like have all my cotton yarn and then acrylics and wool but I think going by fiber will be better because I don't think I have enough fibers to be able to I don't have enough of each fiber to organize it that well by it. Anyway, yeah, so what was I even talking about before I went on a tangent? Oh, I was talking about how I finished these socks. One of them fits great, the other one is too big, so. But I think I'm done with crochet socks for a while. I just want to try knit socks. Speaking of knit socks, um, so I went, when I went and bought my needles, um, the 2.5 millimeter needles at the yarn store I also said oh well, I need yarn obviously to do the socks so I got this and I've already caked it up it was a hank um, it was not that expensive it was only like $15 and it is Illimani Sabri Sabri it's 85% cotton 15% baby alpaca anyway this is the label I don't know if you can see that anyway it's super soft it's fingering weight so it's like very nice and thin I love fingering weight yarn um, and yeah so this is it I'm gonna try and attempt knit socks I'm not sure when I think I want to practice my ribbing knit ribbing because uh, the pro the pattern that I want to do for the knit socks calls for two by two ribbing and I haven't really practiced that too much yet I've mainly been practicing stockinette stitch um, because that's what is used in the pattern but I really need to practice my 2x2 two two ribbing and then I think once I get that under my belt I'll start the socks so hopefully I'll have the socks today's Thursday so hopefully I can start the socks Monday because um, I've got some other work stuff that I have to do I have a lot of work to do so yeah um, let's see what's the next finished object I got oh so this isn't really a finished object, and I don't think I have any more finished objects. But it's only it was only whips October, so I like refrained from starting a new project. It was so hard to because I bought all this yarn and I really wanted to start a new project, but it was only whips October and I was trying so hard to stick to it. So anyway, so this is one of my only whips. This is the I'm not sure if you can see this, but it's like very seasonal hand dyed yarn that I got um, 
and this is the start of a neck warmer. It's super fun to make. I love seeing all the colors. Oh. Excuse me. Yeah, so this is a neck warmer by Lizette. Lizette. I want to say Hannah. I don't think it's Hannah. Lizette something. Um, it's her pattern, and it's for a very nice, chunky knit. Uh, not knit. Uh, crochet neck warmer. Um, originally, she used three strands of yarn together. Look like three strands of like DK weight or like a not a DK weight. Maybe like a worsted weight, but I want really wanted to do this in fingering weight, and oh my god, I really underestimated how long it's gonna take me because this right here took me forever to make. I'm serious. It took this took almost all of October just to make, and I've got I've got the second one started. I've got the second one started, and I am this far in I have to go into the bottom part measures um until it measures 48 centimeters so I've got this much so far and oh my god it's just taking me forever I mainly work on this project though at work um so I haven't been like super focused on it I mean I've been more focused on it now just because I really want to finish it like I want this project to be over with by the end of November, definitely, because it's just taking way too long to do. Um, yeah, but it's super cute, and I really like the colors. Very seasonal. The yarn is by Tulip Tree Yarn Company. Um, yeah, Tulip Tree Yarns on Etsy, and this is called Christmas in Fraser's Ridge. So I'm really excited for it. It's got like bright green and reds and yellows. The yarn actually looked a lot different in person when I got it. Um, but yeah. So I think that's all. Oh, I started. Okay, I know it was only Lips October. And so I waited literally until October 31st. And I had to. I had to start this project. I just... I couldn't wait any longer so I started the second Adalia shawl that I've made and I absolutely love this shawl I mean I mean look at it just look at it look at it it's so beautiful I just look how beautiful that is just look at how beautiful it is and it's made up in double crochets this is the yarn the yarn is um oh my god what is it? So recent. So let me just start. Recently, I had a business meeting in Albemarle, 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 North Carolina, which is like in the Sand Hills. And um, I said, okay, on my way back home, I'm gonna find a yarn shop. So I found this yarn shop in Southern Pines, North Carolina, and it was called Bella Filati. And it, they just had the most beautiful luxury yarns I've ever seen. Hold on, let me see if I can find the tag. I don't have the tag, so I don't even know what this is. But it's this is literally just the most beautiful, like, soft pink color. How beautiful that is it's just such a nice soft pink and I absolutely love it um yeah so I got it in pink and I also got it in gray so I'm going to use these two colors for this Adalia shawl the Adalia shawl is by Expression Fiber Arts again because I love their patterns the Adalia shawl is actually the first pattern that I've ever bought because I've always used free patterns but I bought this pattern and I absolutely love it. It's made up of mainly double crochets and single crochets. And I would classify it as super easy. Super easy to make. Um, yeah. I remember I used to never like shawls. I never really saw the point in them. But after I learned how to make shawls, now I just want to wear them everywhere. Like the other day I was out and it was like the perfect shawl weather. Like it was... It was warm, but like the wind made it a little bit chilly because you know we're in fall now, so it's kind of cooling down in North Carolina. 
So I would just, I had a short sleeve t-shirt and my shawl and I was good for the day. And I got so many compliments um, on the shawl because it's just so beautiful. Um, hold on, let me show you which one I'm talking about. I'm talking about this one. This is the first shawl that I made. Um, the first Adalia shawl. Isn't it beautiful? I mean, look at the yarn. Look at those colors. It reminds me of like a Monet painting. So this is my first Adalia shawl that I made. I absolutely love it. So I decided to make the second one. Yeah, I'm, I can't remember what this yarn... I wish I could remember what it was made of. I know it has alpaca blend. I know it's an alpaca blend. I think it's alpaca and wool blend. But it, oh, it's called Harriet. I do remember that. Hold on, let me check again for the tag. I found the tag. Okay. So this is baby alpaca blended with nylon for durability and it's called Harriet Fine. So it's 75% alpaca, 25% polyamide, which is nylon, and it is a weight one. So you can see the tag there. They were $25 a skein, skein, a hank, $25 a hank. So not too bad, but I absolutely love this. Oh my God, it's so soft. I literally could not wait any longer just to start this because I just wanted to start it so bad. So I started it on October 31st. It was the last day of only was October. So I know I kind of like broke it, the rules, but I didn't care anymore. I really just didn't. So anyway. I'm about to switch up to the gray color pretty soon. Yeah, so I think that is it for um, my whips. I, I've only had two whips for this month. Well, I mean, I had three, but I finished the socks. So just these two. Just the socks. So, and then my knitting swatches. Although, I started this after October. So, um, not really a... Okay. Um oh. So in October I was really like we had just finished the September stash away and I was just like, "Oh my god, I have to buy yarn now." So I bought <laughs> So I went to my local yarn shop, which is called Great Yarns, and I absolutely love this shop. They have mainly natural fibers like animal fibers. Uh they have some acrylic stuff, but it mainly um natural like animal fibers like wool or uh, cashmere and alpaca and I bought the most beautiful cotton yarn oh my gosh the most beautiful softest cotton yarn it's called cumulus from juniper 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 moon farm it's Israeli Mako cotton and a touch of nylon for strength. So 94% cotton, 6% nylon. And it's a medium weight category 4 yarn. And just look at that pink color. Look at that pink. This is like the most perfect pink color you'll ever, you'd ever want to see. It's like the soft baby pink. And oh my god, I wish you guys could feel. Just feel this yarn. It is so nice oh my god it feels so soft so soft so I got two of them and I'm gonna make this neck warmer again I'm gonna make it again because I really want a pink one I love how it looks finished I really want a pink one um, so hopefully this is enough it's 251 yards or 230 meters um, for 100 grams so I'm really gonna I really want to make a pink one of the neck corner by Lizette and yeah I mean I just just I mean look at this yarn look at this it's got like a nice like almost like a sheen to it like I've never seen cotton that has like a sheen to it before it's just so beautiful it's just so soft too oh my god I wish you could feel how soft this is 
But you can't because you're not here. But anyway, if you were here, you would say, oh my god, Mimi, this yarn is so soft. But anyway, so I think that is all for the yarn that I bought in October. So I bought these. This, I think, was actually November 1st or something like that. Um, this is the sock yarn for the knit socks. And then I bought the, the gray and the pink from um, Bella Filotti yarns. So I think that's everything I bought for October. Um, wait, no it isn't. Because I bought this package from Hobie, which came in the mail today. Hobie seriously ships so fast to me, considering I'm in America and Hobie's in Denmark. I don't know if they, my stuff gets here so fast. But anyway, I want to open this. I'm so excited. I'm so excited, guys. Oh, it's so beautiful. Okay, I'm just like tearing this open because I don't have scissors. Should I even get scissors? Oh, got it. Okay. god okay so the first thing that i got is this alpaca blaze it's 40 percent acrylic 30 percent alpaca 30 percent polyamide and this is in the shade three i can't remember i think it was called like mushroom or something but anyway look at that isn't that just the most beautiful neutral color you'd ever want to see it's just such a beautiful neutral and i'm gonna pair it with this which I think is in the color Nougat, is shade number four. So just imagine these two together. Isn't that beautiful? And I'm not exactly sure what it's called, um, but I'm gonna make, oh my God, whose cardigan is it? I can't remember, but I'll put it on the screen. I'll put it like right here. Um, from Ravelry, I saw the project. It's like, she used mohair, but I'm gonna use alpaca. Um, so it's like a, a nice, like a lightweight cardigan. And I just think these are just the most perfect neutrals to use because I really don't have that many neutrals in my closet, like for cardigans and things like that. So I really wanted to do, get some neutrals. Okay. And the second I got, oh my God, this is so beautiful. This is Highland Wool, 100% Peruvian Wool in the color these are 50 grams 100 of 191 yards color number three and this is i think this is the champagne color but just look at that isn't that beautiful it almost has like a little variegation to it like it within the yarn itself but yeah this is so beautiful it is it's soft. It's not as soft as other wools that I felt. Um, like it's not as soft as merino wool, but it's still pretty soft. And I can't remember who makes this cardigan, but it's a, it's like a nice fitted cardigan, and then it has a little ruffle on the bottom part. And I'm not sure who makes it. I'll put it right here. Uh, whoever makes it, I can't remember at the moment. But I saw it on Ravelry. I really want to make it. It almost looks like it's um. I can't remember if it's this one or another one, but it looks like it's like top down style construction. I really can't remember at the moment. But yeah, this is so nice. Just look at those co look at that color. It's like the most perfect neutral color. And I think that's all I got from Hobie. So I got I got one, two, three, four, five. Six. How many did these I get? Oh my god. Seven. Oh, I think it's to get the discount. You had to buy seven. So I just went ahead and bought seven. I got seven of these. And then I got one, two, three, four, five, six. So I got seven of all of them. Um, hopefully I use all of it because I really hate having leftover yarn. Do they see? Oh, and I got a little gift. I got another tapestry needle. <laughs> so I have to add that to the tapestry needle collection. But yeah, 
so I think that's all that I have for you guys today. Um, is there anything else that I could think of? Nope, I don't think so. So this is my first attempt at a podcast or and not really a podcast. I just wanted to show what I had made in the month of October. Um, oh, I didn't talk about what I plan on making. So what I plan on making for November is I plan on finishing the Adalia card, not cardigan, the Adalia shawl. I really want to finish that. I have absolutely want to finish the neck warmer. This, this neck warmer. I really want to finish that. And then I really want to finish, I really want to start my knit socks. I'm super excited to start those. I really want to start, I mean, I may not finish the knit socks, which I don't have a problem with, but I do really want to start them at least. And I'm not sure if I want to start, um, which one I want to start. I want to start this one, um, the champagne cardigan well it's not the champagne cardigan this yarn is just the champagne color um if i want to start this one or the other one i'm not sure yet between i'm i'm gonna start one of these two let's just put it that way um so yeah so that how many projects is that that's okay finishing the adalia finishing the neck warmer because i'm finishing and then starting so I want to start two projects, a knit project and a crochet project. Yeah, so that should be fun. So um, I've been thinking about getting back into knitting lately because I started knitting when I was like like a child. And I absolutely loved it. I made a neck warmer and I made a scarf. And it was super fun at the time. Um, but then I just stopped. I don't really know why I stopped. I think I just hit a wall where I just... Everything was, seemed too hard to learn how to do. So I stopped and then during quarantine I picked up crochet and it was just like the most fun thing ever because I could make anything. I could make literally anything I wanted to. I felt like, like I know there's difficult stuff in crochet but I didn't really um, expand myself to that knowledge. You know, I just kind of stick to doing the basics and learning how to decrease, how to increase. So I could make cardigans and sweaters and shawls now and I could just make all this stuff and then the only reason I thought about knitting is because of one Tiffany's videos. I absolutely love Tiffany. Um, she's just the most like adorable person ever. So Tiffany really inspired me to start knitting again. So I really want to knit socks because I saw Kobe Kelly had made socks and I was like oh my god I have to make socks. Because crochet socks, they're just not really doing it for me. So, I'm going to try and knit socks. I've been thinking about maybe just getting a set of interchangeable needles. Because <sighs> I kind of want to get back into knitting. Because, oh my god, my favorite thing's knitwear. Has the most beautiful knit camisoles. And I really want to knit a camisole. Yeah. Oh my god, I forgot one yarn that I got. I have another acquisition. Hold on just a second. So I got this Noro yarn, the first time I've ever bought Noro yarn, guys. And it's just, look at these colors. Look at these colors. I mean, it's just so beautiful. There's like greens and yellows and blues. So this is the Noro Akari yarn, color 17. It is a blend of... What is it a blend of? Oh, okay. It's 26% silk, 21% cotton, 15% viscose, 14% mohair, 12% wool, 12% polyamide. That That is just too many things in a blend, to be honest. That is just so many. But anyway, I really want to make, I don't know if I have enough, but this is 480 meters or 200 grams. I saw this beautiful knit vest, and it was like a button vest like it had buttons right here but it was like super cropped and like just a ribbed type of detail and I just I really hope this is enough to make it 
I really want to knit with this Noro yarn because, you know, crochet takes like 30% more yarn than knit does. So I figure if I make something knit, then I can stretch my yarn a little bit better. So that's another reason I was thinking about maybe I should just get interchangeable needles. I get a set if I'm going to start getting back into knit so I don't have a whole bunch of like fixed needles. Even though there's nothing wrong with fixed uh, circulars. But I just thought maybe it'd be more practical to just get a set of interchangeable if I'm going to get back into knitting. Um, I feel like once I finally get continental down, continental purling, I will be like unstoppable. Like, because my continental knitting is like, it's there, okay? It's there. But my continental purling is, it's just not there. It's like down here, you know? So I, if I get that down, I'll be unstoppable. I can just, I can knit my little heart out. Can knit to my heart's content. Oh, that rhymes. Knit to my heart's content. Okay. Anyway, yeah, so I think that is everything that I have for you. So, wow, this video was long. How many minutes is it? 30, 33 minutes, something like that? Anything. Anyway, yeah, so thank you for watching. If you watched this far, my name is Mimi. Um, yeah, it was nice talking to you guys. Uh, anyone that's watching, if you watch the video, leave a comment. Um, tell me what your projects are planned. Tell me if you did the uh, Only Once October. Um, did you buy any yarn? Uh, when you, If you finished the September stash really like I did, did you reward yourself by buying yarn? So like we kind of defeated the purpose of it. Anyway, yeah. So that's it. That's all I have for you guys today. Thank you.